Wright, and today in this tutorial, we're going to talk about business Instagram. Now, before I sort of do a deep dive into the tutorial, I just want to take a step back and sort of explain to you what has happened the last couple months. Um, a couple months ago, we received a notification that Instagram was actually fading out or basically no longer going to be supporting their API. During that time, we found out that Facebook actually bought out Instagram, which is why we have this thing called Business Instagram. Um, during the time when we were with Instagram, they slowly started fading out hashtags, it ended up being only certain profiles. It really just wasn't an effective or efficient application. Now that we have Business Instagram, um, it's been great. We're able to pull in hashtags, we're able to pull in multiple profiles. We're, we're really able to give our clients exactly what they want. So when you log into our CMS, currently as of right now, you will see the two applications. You'll see Instagram and you'll see Business Instagram. For any new clients, of course, we're gonna encourage you to sort of do the Business Instagram. Um, the reason why we couldn't just eliminate the other one is because we still have clients on there. And so it's just gonna take a little bit of communication, a little bit of time to sort of get those clients converted over. So definitely don't get confused when you log into our CMS. Um, to set this all up, I really see it as sort of three parts. The first part is that you need to have what we call a business Facebook page. Now, most companies already have this. However, if you don't, no worries at all. We'll walk through that. The second part is basically taking your Instagram and converting it into a business Instagram. Again, super easy. Once that's done, they basically link together, right? Your Facebook page and then your business profile are linked together. Once that's sort of established, then our CMS basically communicates with that. Um, from there, you can hook up, like I said, as many profiles as you want. You can hook up as many hashtags as you want. Um, we do have a way to sort of curate uh, hashtags, so that way you can sort of approve them. Um, make sure that the stuff that's going on in your display is, you know, appropriate, of course. So that's sort of the rundown of today's uh, tutorial. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys, so as I said earlier, there's three steps to this. Um, first of all, making sure that you have a business Facebook page. Um, secondly, that your personal or whatever Instagram you're sort of using to link up is set to a business Instagram, and then taking that information and bringing it into our CMS. So you currently are seeing our CMS. You can see that I do have Instagram right here. Uh, but we're going to focus right down below where it says Insta, Instagram business and Facebook. So what I encourage you guys to do before anything is open up two tabs, okay? Um, one is going to be for Instagram. You don't need to be logged in, okay? So go ahead and just log out. And then please go into your Facebook. So this is my personal Facebook. Um, if you guys want to log into the business page one, that's, that's completely fine. But I am going to quickly walk through how you create a page just for anybody who doesn't have one. Um, like I said earlier, I think most people do already have it, but uh, we'll just walk through those steps. So how do you create a business Facebook page? When you're in your Facebook profile, um, down here on the left side, we have sort of some applications. And there's, this, there's something called pages. So go ahead and just select that. And then you're gonna hit the green button that says create page. And then you have sort of two options. Now we wanna create a business Facebook so we're gonna hit the left side here that says get started. Now I'm not gonna kind of continue on. I'll let you sort of just kind of fill out this information. Um, I think it's like about three steps, so it's, it's not too complicated. And once you create that, where you can sort of uh, view it or where you can sort of jump to it is up here in the top right, there's sort of a question mark icon. There's a little drop down arrow, and this is where you can jump to your page. Now, as you can see, I have three pages. I have the Reach Business page, and then I really have two test pages. Um, the only reason why I have so many is obviously I have the Reach one, but then I have the two test ones only to help our developers um, test out this application. So I'm gonna jump into Reach Digital Solution. I could have honestly jumped into either one, it doesn't matter. Um, I'm just doing that for this particular tutorial. So this is the page I just created, okay? So once you have that, what we need to do is we need to link up your Instagram. And just a couple of things to note real quick is that you need to make sure that your Instagram is set to public. Uh, first thing is to go into your like phone, 
go into your settings icon and you just need to make sure that that's set to, to public. If it is set to private, um, your hashtags or even your personal like pictures um, or whatever you take, I should say, will not come through the API. So start there. And then once that's done, go back into this Facebook part where we're at, and I need you to go into settings, which is up here in the top right. And then you'll see on the left side here, there's an application called Instagram. All right, so true story real quick. Um, when I was sort of testing this out, my personal Instagram was actually not set to business. And so when I hit this connect account, um, there's gonna be a couple steps that sort of convert me to this business. Now in this tutorial, we're gonna miss that because I've actually already done this once or twice. Um, so it kind of knows that my account is, is basically business, um, but just kind of keep that in mind, okay? So what we're gonna do, you guys, we're gonna hit connect account, and it's already gonna have the information here. Now, why is it have it here? Because I had you open up this tab. Super minor, super little like shortcut. Um, otherwise, if this really isn't the account you want, you can just hit switch accounts right here, okay? But yes, this is the account I want to convert to business Instagram. So I'm going to hit continue. Now, what would have happened to you guys, since this is my like second time doing it, there would have been two more steps that you would have just hit okay on. Um, but once you do sort of, you know, complete those steps, this is what's going to happen. Your information will be right here. So again, already step one and step two are done. We have the Facebook page and now we've basically have converted this business or, or this normal Instagram into a business Instagram. Our last and final step, you guys, is to go back into our CMS and basically pull all the information in. Now, one thing I just want you guys to keep, keep uh, aware of is that when we sort of link this all up, I don't want you guys to think that your personal information is coming into our CMS. Um, that is absolutely not what's going on. What's happening is that our CMS needs to know that there's sort of like a legit account out there that, hey, we have a business Instagram, it's connected to this Facebook, yup, okay, this Facebook's legit, now we can pull the information in. So those steps that we walked through, I don't want you guys to think that, you know, any of your information is getting pulled into our CMS, that's completely wrong. So, all right, so last and final step, you guys, we'll hit this orange button that says add profile, and then we're gonna hit Instagram business. Now what's gonna happen is it's gonna jump to our Facebook, and why is it jumping to our Facebook? because it knows that we just linked this whole thing up. And so it's asking for basically permission. You know, are you giving reach access to pull whatever hashtags or profile information that you're displaying? Yeah, I am, absolutely. So I'll hit continue as Michelle. All right, and then one last final thing. Hey, you know, are you okay with this? Yep, I am, I'm gonna hit okay. All right, so as you can see, you guys, now Instagram business and Facebook sort of have dropped down. Um, so at this point, you guys, Facebook is gonna stay like that. Unless you wanna hook up your profile, you definitely can. Otherwise, having it stay like this is completely fine. So don't feel like um, once once we hook up the business or the Instagram business that something's broken. Um, that's just because they're connected, right? They're, they're sort of as one unit. So our last and final step now, you guys, is to basically go back to this orange button that says add profile. And we need to tell the system, like what profile are we pulling in? Uh, maybe we're doing a hashtag or, or maybe we're doing a different profile. So in the middle button, again, we're gonna hit Instagram business. And now what's showing up is that it's, it knows the pages that basically were created, okay? And as I said in the beginning, I had three business Facebook pages, right? I had the reach one, and then I had these two test ones. So what we wanna do is we wanna link up the one that has the Instagram tied to it. Now, for a majority of you guys, you guys are only gonna have the one page. Um, again, I just happen to have three. So I'm gonna select the one and I'm gonna hit link. All right, and now the last and final step, profile or hashtag. So just to sort of talk about this part, now you can link up your personal profile, just sort of type it in. Or if you guys want to do a hashtag, um, make sure that you have this manage post on there. So what is a hashtag, right? Um, basically, it allows you guys to create whatever hashtag you want, or maybe there's one out there like, um, you know, hashtag ESPN or hashtag CNN, um, whatever it might be. But if you guys create one, 
let's just say you do hashtag uh, reach rocks. At, at any point, anyone who takes a photo on their Instagram and uses that hashtag, hashtag reach rocks, basically myself or my team or whoever's helping me would get an email and a text and it would show the photo and it would show sort of their text and their description. And of course, if it was appropriate, I could hit accept and what would happen is it would go on your digital display. This is huge for sort of um, event centers, universities, schools, stuff like that. Um, but that is what the hashtag is. So let's just kind of do one for fun. Let's do, let's do it. Let's do hashtag reach rocks. And we're going to hit add. All right, you guys, you can see you guys, Instagram business is created, reach rocks. Now, if I select that, I do have some settings on the right side. Um, for the most part, you can keep this manual. Now, you don't really want it to expire because, I mean, you're going to be the one that can approve it or decline it. Um, but then you can view all the posts. So let's just say maybe if it's like a, a wedding or something or, or maybe even a school event. Uh, if you were out for that that weekend, you could come in and view all the posts. Um, and at the same time, you can put people in charge of who can manage those sort of those profiles or those hashtags coming in. So. I know I kind of skimmed over that a little bit only because I know there's a tutorial on there that sort of deep dives into this. Um, but that is how you would link up Instagram business. So if you guys have any questions, definitely give us a call or email us. Um, otherwise, I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you.